Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. We've got the Viper Spectra KS3000 to review today. It's uh, slightly unusual because it's suited for a three foot by three foot or 90 centimeter by 90 centimeter grow area. Not a size that's very common. So I've done a huge amount of lights um, to suit this space. This is an excellent example. It's a big fixture. You might be able to see here, it's, it's just shy of three foot by three foot. It's 32 inches by 32 inches. And this means that it just fits into that three foot by three foot space. It also means that it gives a really good spread over that uh, grow area. It's a really nicely built fixture. It's a foldable bar type light. You just take it out of the box, unfold it, and it hangs up straight away. Very simple. It's very robust, slimline, and um, packed full of nice components. So the LEDs are Samsung LM301H, so really high efficiency, and Osram 660 nanometer reds. You've got the best quality LEDs going into this. And they also have the, the surface coating over the LEDs, the silicon coating to protect them against dirt and moisture. The driver is a LIFO driver, good quality brand, high efficiency. As you can see, you can mount it remotely. And uh, got a really nice long cable. Um, haven't measured it, but it's about 10, 11 foot, about, um, about four, three, four meters, three and a half, four meters long. You got dimming on board and on off on board um, on the driver. And um, what this does, is it keeps the hanging weight of the fixture down uh, and also keeps the heat that the driver generates outside of the grow area or the grow tent. This is a full spectrum fixture, meaning that the light uh, spectrum output is suitable from growing all the way from seed to harvest. And quite cleverly, Viper Spectra have sp spread the LEDs basically unevenly. You can see it on the uh, on the camera there but the LEDs are more densely uh, packed together at the edges than in the center and this means when the light is um, is down low over the plant canopy or it means it can be positioned down low over the plant canopy um, whilst um, giving an even spread so you'll get more distribution towards the edges keeping the power levels over the edge high and less dense LEDs in the center means that there's, um, it reduces the potential for a hot spot in the center when you hang low. So I put it into the three foot by three foot or 90 centimeter by 90 centimeter test area and brought down to the optimum hanging height, which I found to be 11 inches or 27 centimeters. Just a touch below what Viper Spectra recommend at 12 inches or 30 centimeters. So pretty aligned there. As you can see, the spread is outstanding, very, very good. You look at the lowest um, power number over the highest power number, it's much, much less than 1.5, which is really good uniformity and means that the, um, you know, this is about the best spread that you can get in this space. The overall system efficiency was also excellent. Um, the total power output as measured across the um, test um, target was 847 micromoles. You divide that total power output by the power consumed, just under 300 watts, 299 watts. It delivers a system efficiency 2.3 usable PPF per watt or micromoles per watt, which is an outstanding result. Very, very good for a fixture um, of this uh, price and value for money. You can see the details for the pricing down below. Got all the links for the various um, different Viper Spectra zones, selling zones, and also there are discount codes to go with it. Please use the codes. You'll get an additional discount on the sales price and support the channel, which I'd much appreciate. So overall, Viper Spectra are really coming into their own. Their lights are just getting better and better really over the last few years. It's an outstanding example. It's got all the features that really you could want from a light of this size and uh, yeah very happy to recommend it any questions or comments as usual folks leave them down below i'll get back to you as soon as possible take care